I think you're all probably aware that we had a little bit of trouble here at one point. Shank Hill running this side, Northern Ireland's largest British Protestant community, paralleled with it the Falls Road, which is Northern Ireland's largest Irish Catholic community. And running between the two of them, they built a walk known as the Peace Walk. Now, it doesn't look very peaceful. It's 15 metres, runs for two and a half mile. It's called the Peace Wall because it kept the peace between the two communities. Now, running through the wall, you have a series of four interconnecting streets. So during the day, traffic moves across the city. In the evening time, they close the gates. Now, we have no troubles, no issues at all here. We're the safest city in the UK and Ireland. Isn't that right, Gorge? That's right. That's right. Very settled, very safe, but very divided. Two thirds of the city are still segregated between the two communities. The religion was something that was an issue two centuries ago, maybe even a hundred years ago. Um, today it's about identity. It's about British identity and Irish identity. If you're born in the North, you can pick your passport. You can have an Irish passport or a British passport, or you can hold both if you choose. With two national flags and with two national anthems. If you're living on the Shank Hill and I'm living on the Falls, our homes could be 200 metres apart, but the chances of you and I meeting before we go to college, university or work are very, very slim. You're going to be a third level of education or you're starting work. Now, if you have lived throughout the sort of troubles, you don't want to go to the Shank Hill. I don't want to go to the Falls, for example. It's not that it's unsafe, so it is very definitely self-segregation. The rule here, if you can remember 20 years ago, you're in trouble. If you can remember 30 years ago, you're screwed. And if you can remember 40 years ago, you're fucked. And that's the three sort of levels of it. So the new generation that's coming through, they don't give a hoot. They don't remember security. They don't remember 28,000 soldiers on the streets across Northern Ireland. They don't remember getting into Belfast city centre and having to physically queue up and be searched before you went into town. Searched when you went into shops. The inner part of the city was locked down with that. It was known as a ring of steel. So it was like they threw an airport. Twenty-eight separate bombings or attempted bombings upon the Europa over the course of the troubles. Shocking part: nobody ever died. Gun attacks and bomb attacks were generally, I'm going to say, a daily occurrence. Somewhere there was there was bomb hoaxes every day. There was bombs, actual bombs going off on a sort of weekly basis. Yeah. But it all became very normal. There's a school, I think it was Lagan College, was yep. the first school to yep. open in the city. Yep. Those kids that were going to those schools, their parents were making a very brave choice and doing something very, very worthwhile. But you see the kids in the neighbourhoods who didn't go to that sort of school, they're chucking rocks at their buses and abusing them. Yeah. Rather than supporting it, which you would imagine in a normal society you'd support it, today they'll support it, but in the past it was, the, it was knocked. It was seen like, well, would you think you're better than us? That was the sort of attitude. This wasn't about terrorism. This was two sides that very quickly turned on each other. So they done strange things, which was form organizations to protect them. So it was both sides. So what you found, any Catholic families that were living here in 1969, which about 20% of people here were Catholic, had to grab your shit and run. And the same thing happened for Protestant people living there. If you look at a map of Belfast today, it's little pockets and segments. There's no rhyme or rhythm to it. It's not two halves of the city with one wall. It's pockets and segments with 48 walls spread right across the city. If your father goes to prison, it's an absolute disaster, but your mum will pull you through. If your mum goes to prison, probably, more likely, family's finished. There is an actual quilt that was created by females from the two communities and they say that to put a patchwork quilt together is very difficult and to put Northern Ireland back together is very difficult. They wear it to most of them when they're in the chapel. Then the policemen came down along with the Protestants and they watched them as they burned every one of these houses down there. Man. 87 houses in total were burned that night. The Catholic priest came one day during the sermon sent the Catholics out to defend their homes. The Catholics came out and pushed the policemen and the Protestants back to that point where the wall is. That's when the British army initially came in. They put barbed wire down to separate them. Built a temporary wall that was only supposed to be temporary for six months, 49 years ago. As I said, yes, here's a memorial. You can see the civilian casualties. Their ages range from four, five, 18, 19 year old. Nora McCabe, 33 year old mother, on her way home from work. When the police drove right up beside her and shot her point blank range in the head with a plastic bullet. Now when a plastic bullet hits you at 160 miles an hour in the head, your skull just shatters. She died 24 hours later in the hospital. The policeman who murdered her was promoted to superintendent. Mm -hmm. 17 people in total were murdered by plastic bullets. Most of them were children. Thousands of them were maimed for the rest of their lives. About 7% of the schools are integrated, which means 93% are segregated. Wow. 
we're going to hit eight percent this year. What if you think that? when you go back to ninety eight, the peace agreement that was two percent integrated? The biggest problem to it is the Catholic Church. They don't want to let go. They have con the only way that they have an input in the children's lives is through school because a lot of parents are not bringing their kids to Sunday service or Sunday mass. This is the people who paint these, yeah. is that there are issues right across the globe, not just here. Yeah.